I think this stuff only has like a five year life. This has been on here 10 years. And it's like the closer it got to the front of the vehicle, the harder it is to get off. Because it was in the sun more? I guess, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, you see all it's all cracking up there and stuff. And like that, across that top edge, uh, up along the pillar there, that's coming off in little teeny pieces. It won't stay as a solid, you know, as you peel it, it doesn't want to stay together. How are your fingernails holding up? Pretty good because I, I kind of use, like I only kind of pick at it and then I work my fingers under it. So you found any tricks to use in the heat gun? Well, it's really, you kind of just, you want to, it's, it's heating the metal underneath that seems to help. So you're kind of working almost ahead of yourself. And it actually definitely kind of likes to work. I should have started from the bottom up because of course heat rises. So it, I think on the other side, I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. Someone else had done the hood, and I don't know if they used the heat gun or not, but they definitely scratched the heck out of it. Yeah, I think they just went straight in with a razor scraper. Uh, this vehicle is a, an 03. They put this wrap on right after it was purchased. So it's been on here close to 10 years. This, and the, the, the wrap is made by 3M, so it's a fairly good quality. Once the heat dies out and it's not warm at all, it, it just becomes hard as a rock again. And if you if you heat an area and then get away from it, when you try to go back to that area, it's brittle and cracks in pieces. So it's better to find a spot, stay with it, and yeah. don't quit.